Hi ladies, Claire here again um, with a tutorial by popular request for um, my Christmas wallet. There's a video on my channel um, on this little wallet and I know I'm not the creator of this. It was Vanilla Days and the link to all the dimensions is on my video um, to the lady down under in Australia. But some people asked whether I'd changed it slightly and I think I have just by adding some flip out pages on each of these two flaps here. Um, and then I've changed the, the very back as well. So I thought I'd do my own little video and take you through how I made it and um, share that with you. So let's just flip that up. Okay, I used seven pieces of A4 card. This isn't cardstock. I don't know what it's called in America, but if anybody knows and can tell me whether it's just called card or whether it's called craft card, or um, that would be great because I use it all the time and I know lots of ladies watch my videos in America and Canada. So if anybody could tell me what the equivalent is, that would be great. So I've used seven pieces of this and the dimensions, I'll go through each one of them. Are as follows. Okay, piece one, I don't know how well you can see it, is six and a quarter inches across by ten and a half inches long and scored at six and a quarter and six and three quarters from the six and a quarter edge. Okay. Piece two, cut one, let's move it up there, is five and three quarters inches wide by six and a quarter inches deep. And again, it's scored at three quarters of an inch and one and a quarter inches along the six and a quarter inch side. Piece three and four are the same. It's two of these. So they are six and a quarter inches wide by six and a half inches long. And again, across the six and a quarter inch side, I've scored at three quarters of an inch and one and a quarter inches. So do two of those. The fifth piece and the sixth piece are the same again, and they are six and a quarter wide by six and a half long. And again, across the six and a quarter inch side, I've scored at three quarters of an inch and then at one inch and that gives um, an edge of a quarter of an inch and there's two of those and the final piece which is slightly different is six and a quarter by six and a quarter and that's the base piece that goes in the back of the album and then you need to start to score along the score lines and I use my bone tool to do that, just to give really sharp edge. It's really important on this little um, box, the sharp edges give it the really nice um, pocket look. So we'll score piece number one and piece number two. and then we'll start sticking them down. Piece number one, I'm going to turn it over and stick along the unscored side. I'm just going to use my tape gun, hopefully not too squeaky. And then I'm going to put the flap, the fold over flap, on the back of this piece. 
Yeah. Sorry, done that off camera. So that gives you your front cover. Okay. Open it up and then we're going to stick pieces three and four. Three and four onto each of the sides. So again, let's score them first. Nice sharp scores to give your sides a good clean edge. And then they're going to stick over and to the back of the box. So again, turn your main piece over. Move along the sides. I'm not very good at going very straight and I'm not very good at making sure the glue tape is completely on the paper. Okay, turn it over and stick your pieces underneath. Line the sides up. And stick down. So that's one side. Oh no, this is going to pass. Oh no. And then do the same on the other side. It's a bit fiddly. That gives you your little box. Open it up and then there are two more flaps to go inside so that's pieces five and six. Here they are and those are the ones that have got a quarter inch um, side scored as opposed to a half inch deep side that we've scored on the other four pieces. So I'm just going to score these. Just it so fold them over and the score. Go over again and score. And same with the other piece. Hold it over and score along one line and then fold it over and score along the second. And that gives us that quarter inch depth on those two pieces. And then again we're going to stick those at the sides but we're going to stick them on top of the centre piece. So glue down the sides again those down with the flap on the glue and the larger part folding over. So line those up with the edge of your box. Oop. It is a bit fiddly. Oh, and it's come off. <laughs> Let's do it again. Line it up and then just run my finger down to stick it. Fold that one over, that's fine. And then do the same for the other side. Line it up with the edge of the card 
making sure that your two ends are inside the six and a quarter or six and a half inch square that we've got that we're working on and stick it down so it folds in folds in folds over folds over folds down should be that way to give you a really neat little box and then to finish it off so it opens like that I've cut one piece of card that's six and a quarter by six and a quarter and that is going to fit over all of those inside pieces that we've stuck down just to give a neat back to that inside And then everything should fold up. Just make sure it might need to be trimmed slightly. I'm just going to trim it so that it's six and one eighth, just to make sure that it doesn't overhang and uh, stop these side pieces from folding in. Okay, so I've trimmed that. So it's now six and one eighth by six and one eighth and that will fit in the centre there quite nicely. So I'm just going to stick that one down too. So just glue the edges. And then the box is ready to decorate. So let's fold it in. Little flaps first, deeper flaps up a second. Bottom up. And there it is. In my one that I'd made, I put a magnet under here when I put the paper on. So I put the magnet here and the magnet here so that it closes and then that holds everything together because so once you start putting tags in and pockets in it bulks it up and uh, it doesn't necessarily stay shut and then the page when I covered the pages here the ladies thought I put extra flaps in I haven't I've just made a double page so I've cut the paper to decorate that um, piece twice the width to give an opening and I did that on both of the fronts of the inside two pieces. So there it is, I hope you like it and uh, have fun making one. Thanks for watching.